Hello everybody, this is Shadil Qassas, the Director of Innovation at Al-Ittihad National Private School Lain. And today we are going to shed the light on Cognia Accreditation. Cognia Accreditation is an accreditation process against uh, that, that measures the school quality or the school practices against clear uh, performance standards. In this session we are going to identify the guiding question that guides all the Cognia um, processes of accreditation. Also, we are going to look at the three pillars or the three domains that Cognia accreditation uh, focus on. Uh, we're going to define each capacity and each domain. And finally, we are going to highlight the standards of each domain um, and highlight the keywords um, in each standard. So, the main guiding question of Cogni accreditation is that what will support the success of each and every learner? So it focuses on the success of the learners, uh, the individual learners, and this is the main concern or the, the main uh, capstone of uh, Cogni's guiding question. So Cognia accreditation has three main pillars or three main domains, and they are called capacities. We have the leadership capacity, we have the learning capacity, and we have the resources capacity. And each one of these domains, uh, it includes many standards or many performance standards that describes the detailed expected performance uh, that Cognia measures. Uh, the performance of a school against. The first capacity, which is the leadership capacity, uh, the capacity of leadership to ensure an institution's or the institution's progress toward its stated objective, which is a very essential element in any organizational effectiveness. The, leader, the leadership capacity, it includes the fidelity and commitment to its purpose and direction. Also, it looks at the effectiveness of governance and leadership in order to enable the institution to realize its stated objectives. Furthermore, it highlights the ability to engage and involve stakeholders in meaningful and productive ways. Finally, the leadership capacity sheds the light on the capacity to implement strategies that improve learner and educator performance. The second capacity, which is learning capacity, this is one of the most important domains in Cognia accreditation because the impact of teaching and learning on student achievement and success is primary expectation of every institution. An effective learning culture is characterized by positive and productive teacher-learner uh, relationships. Also, high expectations and standards. In addition to that, providing a challenging and engaging curriculum, quality instruction and comprehensive support that enable all learners to be successful. Uh, additionally, it looks at assessment practices, both types of assessments, formative and summative, and how these assessments are monitored and measured in order to uh, uh, measure or clearly measure the learner progress and achievement. Moreover, the quality of an institution evaluates the impact of its learning culture, including all programs and support services, and adjusts accordingly. The third domain, which is resources domain, the resources domain, it looks at the resources support uh, and the uh, distribution of these resources, of course, including the support for professional learning for all staff and the ability of the institution uh, 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 in examining the allocation uh, and the use of these resources in order to ensure appropriate level of funding, sustainability, organizational effectiveness, and increased students' learning. The first domain, uh, which is the leadership capacity domain, it has 10 standards. 
the learning capacity domain it has 12 standards while the resources capacity domain has eight standards Lo let's look at the le leadership capacity domain that has about 10 standards standard one in the leadership capacity looks at the purpose statement and how it defines the beliefs about teaching and learning including of course the expectations for learners the second standard highlights stakeholders' uh, collaborative demonstration of actions in order to ensure the achievement of the institution's purpose and desired outcomes for learning. The third standard in the leadership capacity domain is the continuous improvement process that produces uh, uh, evidence included including measurable results of improving students' learning and professional practices. While the fourth standard in the leadership capacity, it highlights the policies that are designed to support instructional effectiveness. The fifth one uh, uh, is highlighting the code of ethics and functions within defined rules and responsibility. Number six is the leaders implement staff supervision and evaluation processes to improve professional practices and organizational effectiveness. The seventh standard highlights how the leaders are implementing operational processes and procedures to ensure organizational effectiveness in support of teaching and learning. The eighth standard in the leadership capacity is the engagement of the stakeholder to support the achievement of institution's purpose and direction. The ninth standard is uh, highlighting the, uh, exp the experiences that cultivate and improve leadership effectiveness. The tenth standard uh, uh, looks at the how the leaders are collecting and analyzing the range of feedback data from multiple stakeholder groups and uh, or in order to inform the decision making that results in improvement. So this is the leadership quality or the leadership capacity domain. Let's talk about the learning capacity domain that has 12 uh, standards and this is one of the most important domains uh, that uh, educators middle leaders and the also school leaders should look at uh, in details. The first one in the uh, learning capacity is about the equitable opportunities, how learners um, are provided, have equitable opportunities in order to develop skills and achieve the content and the learning uh, priorities established by institutions. The second standard looks at the learning culture that promotes creativity, innovation, and collaboration or collaborative problem solving. So standard eight is all about uh, the culture of, uh, and, um, and, and processes that the school or the institution is following to nurture and enrich the uh, learning uh, culture related to creativity, innovation, and problem solving. The third standard highlights the learner's attitudes and believes how the school or the learning institution is uh, developing the learner's attitudes, beliefs, and skills needed for success. The fourth standard highlights the, uh, uh, the, the, the formal structure that ensures uh, learner's development or developing of the positive relationships with and have adults, peers, who support their educational experiences. So it's all about the educational support received by the learners. The fifth one talks about the implementation of curriculum or the curricular adaptation and implementation. And especially that it, it sheds the light on the high expectations and uh, the preparation of the learners for the next levels. The sixth standard highlights the process, the processes or the process of uh, the curriculum or the curricular alignment with the standards and the best practices. The seventh standard highlights the instruction, uh, how the instructions 
inside the school is monitored and adjusted in order to meet the individual learner's needs and the institution learning expectation. The eighth standard highlights the, uh, the, the programs and services provided by the Institution for Learners Educational Future and Career Planning. The ninth one highlights the processes of implementation to the identity and address the specialized needs of learners. The tenth standard highlights the learning progress and how reliable it is assessed and communicated clearly and consistently. Eleventh standard highlights the uh, uh, gathering data, analyzing data using the formative summative assessments or summative data that lead to demonstrate the improvement of students' learning. And finally, the institution uh, implementation uh, for the processes uh, to continuously assess its programs and organizational conditions to improve students' learning. So this is the uh, third or the second uh, domain uh, uh, that highlights the learning capacity domain. Let's discuss the, now the resources capacity domain, and it has eight standards. The, capac the, the resource capacity domain highlights in, in its first standard uh, how the institution is conducting and preparing plans and delivers professional development in order to improve the learning environment, learning achievement, and the institution's effectiveness. The second, the second standard is the institution's professional learning structure and expectations and how it promotes collaboration to improve the learner performance and organizational effectiveness. The third uh, uh, standard highlights how the institution uh, provides induction, monitoring, and coaching programs that should ensure that all staff members have the knowledge and skills to improve students' performance and organizational effectiveness. The fourth one is uh, uh, tackling the, uh, uh, the abilities of the institution to attract and retain uh, uh, qualified personnel uh, who support the institution's purpose and direction. The fifth one is highlighting the uh, uh, integration of the digital resources into teaching and learning and how this integration uh, has an impact on improving the professional practices, students' performance, and organizational effectiveness. The sixth uh, standard highlights the institution's uh, 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 abilities to, uh, to, to provide an access to information and, uh, and other resources and materials in order to support curriculum uh, programs and needs of students, staff, and institutions. The seventh standard highlights how the institution demonstrates the strategic resources management that should include long-range planning and use of resources in order to support the purpose and the directions of the institution. And finally, standard eight highlights the, uh, the allocation uh, efforts of the institution for the human, material, and physical uh, uh, resources in alignment with institutions' identified needs, priorities in order to improve students' performance and organizational effectiveness. So these are the three main domains with the performance standard described um, under each capacity domain. So this was a very brief highlight of the Cognia process. Uh, what is the main guiding question uh, that Cognia uses to uh, measure the performance of the school? And also the three main capacities or the domains that Cognia uh, is looking at whenever they uh, try to revise and uh, evaluate the school performance 
and finally the standard uh, or the set of standards under each domain and under each capacity. This was Shad Al Qassas, the Director of Innovation at Al Ittihad National Private School, Al Ain. I really hope that this video was beneficial. Thank you.